Hi all, this is Vikram Gulati, Offering Manager for IBM Cloud Packs and Monitor Micro. I'm here to tell you what it is, how it can help you accelerate your journey to digital transformation. So Monitor Micro is a capability that helps you transform your application, your, uh, in particular your uh, monolith Java application into microservices using AI. And typically this has up till now been a very hard problem to solve. Uh, it has required high level of skills and knowledge of the existing application. It's a very time consuming and error prone process and many of our customers land up re-architecting and re-implementing their existing application to reap the benefits of microservices. So in, in a sense, there is no simple economical non-disruptive approach in the, micro, in the market and Monitor Micro is that exact approach. I think I'm preaching to the choir when uh, I need to get into the benefits of moving to a microservice architecture. I think uh, all of you know the benefits, uh, and, but some of them are resilience. If you don't want one part of your application, if it stops working, to break the entire application. You want to be able to scale your application uh, dramatically leveraging the cloud infrastructure that's available. You want to have agility and you want to be able to add more capabilities to your application dynamically. So these are all and many more are the incentives to move to microservices architecture and Monitor Micro accelerates your journey to that. So the first step to get started with Monitor Micro is the data collection step where we first do the source code analysis to collect the data dependency information and then we actually ask you to instrument and recompile uh, the application so that we can run the application through certain use cases. And this is really a critical step because what we are doing is merging the insights from both the static analysis and the runtime analysis. And when doing the runtime uh, log collection, we ask that you run your application through uh, certain use cases that are representative of how the application is used in the real world. Obviously, we want you to do this in a pre-production environment, not in a production environment. So based on both these, uh, or all, the, all, all of these uh, data collection, we give you two sets of recommendations. One is the business logic partitioning, which is based on the runtime log traces and business use cases. And the other is the natural seams partitioning that is based on the prior and the data dependency analysis. So when you launch into Monitor Micro, the first view he, you have is that of the existing monolith. So every red dot here is a class within your microservice. And the edges represent the interaction between the classes. So we give you the ability to zoom in, zoom out, look at individual classes. You can select a class and see what other classes it's interacting with. You can uh, look at a variety of information like this. Then the other thing that's interesting is the classes that don't have any edges right here, uh, either your use cases were not comprehensive enough to invoke methods in them, or maybe that is indeed dead code that's living in your application. So there are multiple ways that you could uh, peel the onion there and go and proceed further. Now let's look at uh, one of the first recommendations, the one that's based on the business logic. So it's color coded, so every color is a microservice. And uh, you can see that we have about six microservices or so uh, uh, that we are recommending. And what we provide you is the ability to go deeper into each microservice and look at the classes that we are recommending in each. So this one is uh, the trade processor and logic microservice, and we are showing you uh, all the classes within it. We give you different controls so that you can drag the nodes individually or together. So uh, this is the interactive uh, view that you have. And then uh, the other recommendation that I had alluded to earlier was the one by Natural Seams, which not only takes the business use cases into account, but also takes the data dependencies into account. And similar flow is applicable here. Color coding uh, represents different microservices and you can zoom in, zoom out uh, of individual microservices. The other thing that's important is the reports that we provide. So we provide you reports that uh, basically are giving you the logic behind our recommendations. Uh, certainly there's AI behind all of this, but 
what we are surfacing here is that within every partition, aka microservice, how many classes are there, and the number of business use cases that led to this being a microservice. So for every microservice or partition, we tell you how many classes and how many business use cases were involved that use the classes within that microservice. So you have the list of uh, business use cases here. And then uh, finally, the way to really operationalize all of these recommendations is to create microservices uh, from our recommendations. And you need to know which APIs to expose uh, for this microservice. So we are giving you that information here as far as external facing classes. And these are the ones for this particular microservice that's here. And then we are also telling you uh, where there is data that's being uh, used between the two microservices. So non-primitive object parameters being passed from outside to this partition. Partition invokes the following class methods residing outside this partition. Partition has references to the following classes outside the partition. So you will need to make some code changes to, to kind of address these issues that are highlighted here. And, and there are details that we provide for each one of them. So the best way for you to really get started with the mono to micro is uh, fairly simple. You go to ibm.biz slash mono to micro and get going from there. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, everyone.